day for the day. I make my first hunting vlog. So, man. So, we're going to, me and my father are going to drive up to Gloversville. Where the small game hunting is still good in this state. To uh, a bunch of different farmlands with my buddy Patrick. We're going to slay some rabbits, hopefully. Maybe some pigeons in the afternoon. Maybe a grouse, who knows. It should be pretty good hunting, though. Looking forward to it. First, we gotta pack up, though. And wake up. Throw on my hunting coat first. My back tag and all that. Okay, I need this bad boy right here. My Frankie Affinity 20 gauge. Semi-auto, under six pounds, and uh, that's probably it. Tons of ammo. We need tons and tons of ammo. I refuse to ever run out of ammo again in my life. 20 gauge, that's coming with us. Anything that's 20 gauge, I'm taking with me. Even though I have mostly 12 gauge right now. Boxes of it. You're 20 gauge, you're coming with me. You know you're broken. Anything that's 20 gauge. 20 gauge. All right, bring like 200 shells, that'll work. Whew. One last thing, choke tubes. For my 20. This is gonna be a Two and a half, three hour drive, something like that up north. Forget exactly how long it is, but we're going a long way for small game today. We're finally off the long highway, headed into the Mohawk Valley. This is a two hour and 45 minute drive. Man, look at this car in front of us. His whole bumper is dragging on the road. <laughs> Ooh wee, that was a long drive. But we're finally at Patrick's. Just loading up here. <sighs> Break out my gun. That's not my gun. My gun's in here. Chokes. You know, killing the shit out of the coyotes. Be dying. <laughs> and gun. We're just starting to get that up here where people are willing to hunt the coyotes and get rid of them. We're on our way out. More shells will be loaded up. Shooting number eight Federals one for the, for the moment. Got some number sixes too. Oh, man, I'm pretty well out of shape. This is a tough walk for me. <laughs> Whew. It's like a stepping machine. Every time you put your foot down, your calves burn. There you go. Got him. I see him right there, man. Little red squirrel. He's he's right by the tree, Patrick. First blood. Ugh. That is a red, right? Here, show him to the camera, man. Nice. Good job, dude. Game of the day. Cool. We'll take it. And here we are. Awesome. This is, uh, I've been averaging about 8 to 10 here every trip. That's not bad, man. <laughs> Alright, so I figured you could go wide, he can go in the middle, and I'll hug the edge and anything that's left about. You guys can go shallow. Do you want me on the other side of that hedgerow? No, this, this is on the blind edge field. Okay. 
And how far you get off the bottom? Just pull them all the way down. Oh yeah. All right. Whew. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Streak is over, just in time. <laughs> oh, all my feet hurt. Oh, I'm whipped, man. Tired yet, man? Uh -huh. Tired yet? Yeah. Maybe the rabbits just aren't out today. What's plan B? Are we gonna try and feed some birds? Pigeons? Yeah, that sounds good. I can't take any more of this walking, man. It's hurting my feet really bad. Okay, well that about gave me a heart attack walking through that deep snow all the way down there and then all the way back up. So we're gonna go do something a little easier now, hunt for pigeons. Oh man, oh, I am way out of shape. Well, we're here at the pigeon farm. Oh, try and get ourselves a brace of pigeons. Oh man, I am so sore from that last spot. That was really hard hunting. Ugh. Pigeon tracks. We're gonna be hunting pigeons here. Maybe rabbits. Mostly pigeons though. I'm gonna go stand over there. Patrick's walking into the barn to flush any pigeons out. Dude. The heck is it? Pro. Take it. No, don't, don't, don't. I hit him. <laughs> that was fun. Did you get that on film? Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can down. I didn't have time to aim, I just point shot. I did not expect that. <laughs> Holy crap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got him. I 
I got one. <laughs> Got a pigeon, baby. Booyah! <laughs> yeah, shoot. Oh, it's right here. Nice. You found him? Cool. Wait. Let me. Let me. Let me come get him. Where is he? Right where? Oh yeah, baby. Nice job, Patrick. I got myself a beautiful pigeon. City grouse. Look at that. <laughs> I nailed that one, man. And then didn't nail any other <laughs> Yep. Whatever. City grouse, baby. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. This has been a hard day of hunting. That's my first pigeon, buddy. I got one. <laughs> City grouse. Yeah, dump chip there. I heard a lot of shooting. I just nodded off, and I heard a one last shot. Was that a shot I heard, or was I dreaming? There was four in a row I shot. I heard a whole bunch of shooting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was aiming at the other crow, and I didn't have time to aim at the second crow, so I just took snapshots. That was my excuse. Is there more pigeons out there? Or yeah, there's more. They keep circling around. They circle around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying. My feet are cold, though. Oh, step in here and get warm for a little bit. Just running. There you go, man. You wanted to use that to lure him in? That's right. <laughs> the Excellent Adventures of Tim and Patrick. Yep. Yo, we got meat, man. We're not going home with tag soup. <laughs> yeah. We fired 211 shots today. <laughs> I got 23, but his buddy got 18. Cool. Mixture of pigeons, crows, starlings. Yeah, yeah. I put it right on him, man. Clearly I'm a bit rusty, but I'm still real happy I got my first pigeon here. It's a pretty animal. Look at the purple on its neck. Oh, man. Challenging hunt. My feet are completely numb. My hands are pretty cold. But uh, we did get a small reward here. He got a red squirrel and I got this pigeon. So, what else, you know, what can you complain about? Well, that was pretty friggin' difficult. Oh, man. My feet are so cold right now. All I wore was rubber boots like a fool. But, uh, I'll go get some, some lunch now. And call, call it the day. There's our appetizer plate. Last stop of the day. Yeah, there's a burger, salad, and panini. panini. Heck of a meal, man. <laughs> oh, God. Woo! <laughs> that was just a play, baby. You got my girlfriend over here going, What in the heck is wrong with Tim? I'm gonna hit one of those. Fuck. With one hand? With one hand. Okay. I refuse to accept the defeat. That's.
throwing them like terrible. <laughs> Alright, your turn. Yeah, we're done, I think. Why am I so bad? Dude, put it in the quartz keyboard. I'm so confused. A Zerti keyboard, man. Quackerville, New York. I don't want any of this. I want you to go away. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Here we go, ladies. Alright, just because you're on footage, don't get too crazy. <laughs> Which way are you taking us? Currently through Satan's asshole. Grab that thing. Grab it? Okay, wait. Rip it out. There you go. Oh god. Yeah. Oh god, slow down. Shit. out. <laughs> Why are the windshield wipers on? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you don't have to drive this hard, dude. Watch your heads. Go. Bang, kerplung, drive train gone. What's a transmission? Who needs that? Yeah. Oh, God. Hang on. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Knew it was coming. So okay, yeah. we're already back. Oh, shit. Alright, now that you're in the field, at least do a donut when you're slow, though. Not now. What, these donut? Things, <laughs> yeah, these things roll. They're notorious for rolling. Oh, you can't donut. You got all-wheel drive. That was a fucking waste. Alright, 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 alright. Listen to these guys back there. Oh, my God. This was the part where you banged your head. Yeah, right here. Oh, holy shit! That was worse coming this way! <laughs> oh Alright, so here's my corn fed city grouse. She's a beauty. All I'm gonna do now is clean her up on camera here. So there's a really easy way to clean any bird, really. And that's by uh, cutting the skin down the middle and then breasting them out. Because most of the meat is right here. That's the meat that makes the wings flap. That muscle tissue. It's right on the chest here. That's With smaller birds like this, that's usually all that you get out of them pretty much. Taking the legs is not even a bite. A bite. Look what, look what's inside the crop. Tons of corn. These are pure corn-fed pigeons, man. Not those nasty city pigeons that eat gum and dirt and whatever the heck they eat, honestly. That looks beautiful. Look at that meat. That's perfect. Better than I expected. All right. You just get all the skin off of it completely, then you cut it out. I shouldn't have cut the crap, but oh well. Come on, pop baby, there we go. Trying to pop it at the wing joints now. I have to sharpen my knife after this. Oh, there we go. There we go. Awesome. 
There's that medallion of meat, baby. Right there. Just needs a quick rinse. That's perfect. Get the guts out. There we go. That's what you get from a pigeon. Looks like a heart almost. It's heart shaped. That's beautiful. One last thing I want to do though. Before I call it quits with this bird. Is take the tail fan. I usually take the tail fan of all the grouse that I get. I think it would be kind of neat to throw a pigeon in there too. Kind of pretty. So to take a tail fan off. Here, this is the tail fan. There's like a bone. That all the feathers connect to. Right around right, around right there. And you want to cut behind that. Just like that. And then you want to take a piece of cardboard and uh, put this on the cardboard and then put thumbtacks in between the feathers so it stays spread out. Like that. And then it'll dry that way and it'll stay spread out forever. That's awesome. One clean city grouse. Tons of corn though. Whole kernel corn. Alright, so spread one of these bad boys. Take a small nail or a thumbtack or a small screw. And put it one right there at the base where you cut it. And you spread her out. You put one over here on the one feather. Just between the two end feathers there. And then you put one over on the opposite side. here and now she spread just like that now you just let her dry last but not least I'll show you guys a little collection I have going I started this maybe last year something like that I've shot a good number of grouse but I haven't spread many of their tail fans only these two got this one it's a bit dusty color faded a little Got this one. Color looks pretty good on this one still. Got my pigeon, my first pigeon, which I'm very excited about. Probably too excited for just being a pigeon. And I got that awesome medallion of meat right there, ready for the freezer. And that's my little collection. I'll see y'all in the next vlog.